Okay, today we're going to have a look at a shoot-in grinder. This is a Swiss cylindrical grinder, uh, known for their precision and quality. Uh, you can look at this machine and tell. Uh, so what we have here is a model HTG 400. Uh, that's approximately 400 millimeters. That's about 16 inches uh, working distance uh, capacity between centers and a center height of four inches, giving you an eight inch swing. Uh, the wheel capacity is probably an inch and a half thick, possibly two inches by 14 in diameter with a five inch bore. Now you've got a live and dead uh, spindle on the headstock here, also a built-in variator for the speed. The machine can be used by hand. You can work these controls manually or you can use it fully hydraulic, which is, which is what it is. It's all uh, full automatic machine with a rapid approach to the workpiece, and then the start of the infeed, uh, then a time spark out, and then a retraction of the infeed hand wheel <clears throat> and a retraction of the grinding wheel, which looks something like this. Uh, the first notch, we turn on our headstock here. And the second, we'll bring the slide forward and the third will start the machine to move. Now down here you've got a bunch of control knobs in the center here is the one that controls the speed of the table and this will go as slow as you could possibly make it. Uh, this is the main control lever this controls your dwell uh, this controls whether you feed or increment on both sides of the workpiece or just the left side or the right side. Right now you can see each time we reverse we take a little step here. We're taking about uh, two to four tenths. That setting is adjusted with the knob over here. The more you turn this so that this uh, little indicator in the center comes out, the larger your step will be. Over here is your fine feed and your coarse feed for your plunge. And up here are your controls to start the hydraulics, the grinding spindle, uh, the mode you want the workhead to work in, and your spark out switch. You can set this so that when we're in uh, traverse grinding like this and we're going to use a spark out timer, uh, when the wheel gets down to zero and the part has reached sides, size, uh, it will not kick out when the time is up in the center of the part. It will always wait till it gets to a reversal stop. Uh, and then also it has plain a plunge grinding. If we were to shut the table off and turn that in feed off. We have a, a plain plunge feed. This feeds down to a certain point where you can turn on now a fine feed. So you have two feed rates, a coarse and a fine. This is a clutch in the middle. You want to disengage this when you're making your setup or using the machine by hand. There's also a dead stop pin on the side here that I should have put in because now it's gone past zero. But that's something that you, uh, you learn after a while. All right, we can do that again. So I'm going down now in my coarse feed. And there's a setting ring in the center of this dial where you can set a little, a little indicator where you want your fine feed to start. So if we turn our spark out on, we get down to zero. Once we get to zero, We'll spark out. Let's do that again. Let me lower the time. You might have noticed that this was slipping. If you don't adjust these, these two dials in the center, uh, it will slip. That's just the way it, these are designed. When you want to set your amount of infeed, um, you loosen these two dials up. You change the dial over from, from, from where you're touching off to the amount you want to re remove, and then have to tighten them down again. So that's your automatic spark out. This retracts. If I don't want to take that much material off, I can come closer to zero, lock that down again, and that would be my grinding cycle. Go into the fine feed. 
and then the spark out. So you've also got uh, taper adjustment on the table. Now we've done a lot of service to this machine. I actually used to work with this company uh, many years ago, over 20 now. But uh, we've taken this all apart, so you can be assured that uh, service has been properly done with this grinder. We've got a coolant tank here, leveling pads, um, 220 volts. That's it, that's the shooting grinder. Thank you very much.